In today's video, you'll see what happens sometimes after ingrown toenail removal and how I help her relieve the discomfort she has in her big toes. You'll see me pull out layers of buildup under her left big toe and I'll explain the misinterpretation of what cutting the nail square means to prevent ingrown toenails. I'll tell you what the causes of splinter hemorrhages are and share some reasons toenails are yellow other than nail fungus, so stay tuned. Straighten all the way out. Yeah, that's something interesting to me. Months. Okay. But I always wear like a really light color because if I wear a bright color, you can really see how gnarly they are. Right. But yeah, I love wearing sandals and I'm almost. Yeah, people um, don't realize how toenails really do affect a lot of things. And being uncomfortable is not fun. No. I, I can't even lay on my stomach. Like, if my toes are down on my bed, I can't, it, it, I can't it hurts. Mm hmm So. But, yeah, the pain was so bad, I, I'm ready to take them off. But hopefully, I can get them back in shape. Mm -hmm. those, thing, those look nice. Those clippers look nice. Yeah, they're sharp. Yeah. They're surgical steel. <laughs> Yeah, you sell those, right? Yeah. I'm going to have to get me some of those. Yeah, so when it's really hard when it's such a severe yeah. C shape to trim the nails because the corner can actually roll underneath the toenail. keep them clean and I try to give myself pedicures and get all the yuck underneath it you know the soap scum or whatever from showers yeah and at the end of my showers I always take a brush and scrub my toes oh I and can I've, feel that little bit yeah, of nail and I've been dying to like cut them but I'm like no I gotta wait till I go to my appointment yep because I feel like the shorter they are the less pain I'm in So you have your father-in-law living in your house? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. You don't have to drive 70 minutes anymore. No. Yeah, this buildup that gets underneath there, that is what is, it gets so hard and it presses into our skin too. Yeah. Has anyone else ever had the side of their big toenail removed and a little piece grows back? You can trim it out every six weeks or so, but unfortunately the only way to get rid of this permanently is to go back to the podiatrist and have them apply the acid to the matrix again. And yeah, if you're a nail tech, don't good. go too deep. You don't want to injure the skin. I'm in the business too. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Are you a hairstylist yes. or a nail tech? Yep. Here. Yep, but I, back in the day, I mean, I did pedicures and hated it. <laughs> I get so grossed out by it. It takes a special person, you know? I can do my mom and my daughter and family members and stuff, but strangers, it's a little harder for me to do. Thanks. And I love watching, like, Dr. Pimple Popper, too. So yeah. I can take all that grossness, but as long as I'm not doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Same thing with not being pimples, I could do with my family members, but not a stranger. The beauty industry needs nail technicians who would love to give pedicures. Such a shortage of service providers out there. So if you're looking for a career change, call your local cosmetology school and find out if they have a nails-only technology program for you to get your license. And then sign up for my pedicure certification to learn all the details of creating a great career.
the salon where I was at, we had a mail from people that lived next, next door to us. And I used to have really thin toenails, and they would split and they'd get caught in the sheets. And I had them put acrylic nails on it. Mm. Just so, you know, it wouldn't split. And that's where I think I started the first fungus. fungus. Oh. So, and that was, oh my goodness, 15 years ago already. All of that. And the reason why there seems to be build up in the center and not on the edges is because it's actually squeezing the flesh of your nail bed and it's pushed up underneath there and then it gets calloused. Yeah. So as the pressure's relieved off of your nail bed, then it'll stop getting thick like that underneath. It's tricky. I'm gonna let it soak again, but you can start seeing the striations of the lines going vertically down. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like when you get a piece of plastic, if you bend it, mm -hmm. you get that white mark on it. Mm -hmm. So your toenails being pinched for so long that these are the same thing. The little striations wow. are marks, but they're kind of like breaks in the nail. Sure. So if you make it too thin, then it is going to catch and separate and get pulled off. Gotcha. So it's like um, two steps forward, one step back. We sure. just have to be a little bit careful. So it, it'll stop squeezing it and then this height will go down. Nice. Yeah. I even bought those things on the internet. Those hooks that you hook on the end of your... And they didn't even fit. No, they won't, they won't with, uh, Emily. yeah, this, the shape is changed too much to hook underneath there. How are the roads on your way out? Actually really good. Okay. We have three new bit kits on our sites, a ceramic kit, a diamond kit, and a carbide kit. You get a better price when you buy them in the kit. So check those out, and it's always great to have extra bits on hand. So this is just a calloused piece of skin from when your nail wall moved. Mm -hmm. It was pressing in the wrong place because it should be out here on the side. Yeah. So your body's just formed this protective layer. So after I let that soak again, I'm going to trim more of that off. And I'll probably shorten that a little bit. What more. can I do in between seeing you? Uh, you're going to be applying a topical product to it to keep it moisturized and that's all you have to do. Yeah, we're gonna let that soak. It's clinging too much. Mm -hmm. Now genetics, it really is, affects body part. the toughness on the bottom of the feet is that same thing circulation no that's probably a uh, shoe wear yeah yeah and i don't even wear cute shoes anymore just because they hurt yeah. you know even when i was at the salon i wanted to stay up with you know the younger girls that came in i wear those stilettos to work i could last maybe an hour and a half and i had like 10 pairs of shoes in my car and i go change them yeah were you wearing different shoes yeah but i can't wear them anymore this week's most liked comment
comment is from Tracy Weber. She says, I love your videos. You do great nail work. I've been going through some rough times this year and watching you do pedicures is therapeutic to me. You're a sweet, caring, lovely lady. Thank you so much, Tracy. I'm so glad you can use these videos to get your mind relaxed and help you feel better. Remember, we all have rough patches and it's only temporary. Try using positive sayings to remind yourself that you are strong and each day will be better and better than the last. You have a community of people right here you can depend on with similar interests and you can set small goals to achieve every day to make strides to accomplishing anything you set your mind to remember that now i'm gonna have to buy that i think too so i have a professional beauty supply so if you're licensed you go to pro.themeticulousmanicures.com and you can buy stuff at wholesale oh i can yeah, I have a license. I might even be in my purse. Um, I was hoping to leave with some stuff today. Yeah, I have stuff. All right, you can put that foot back in the water. That's impressive. I have a client from New Jersey. She's been five times. Wow. Does she know anybody here? No. So when she comes, she just gets a hotel and yeah. just to visit. Michigan for sure. Are you diabetic? No. That's good. I know that can change your toes too. My mom and dad both are. And my sister. Oh, see, that one is stuck in your skin. Dude, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. It's like oh embedded. We've got to loosen that up. Yeah, that's the one that's been giving me more problems. I mean, this one hurts sometimes, but this one seems to hurt a lot. I used to live in Grand Rapids. Whereabouts? What area? Um, down by the college. Um, JC? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you were downtown Grand Rapids? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I'm actually in Hudsonville. Okay. Have you ever been to Grand Valley? Yep. Okay, so I'm not very far from Grand Valley. All right. Nip any skin that's under there. Do you feel like you're doing more nails in here, though? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm the, I do waxing, so um, I do more waxing than hair. That's confidence. And I did not do well because I couldn't see. So 
so mm, about a year. I did it for about a year and hated every single minute of it. I did not enjoy it at all. Well, we've been open for 20 years. And in 20 years, we might have had two phone calls to ask if we did eyelashes. Really? Yes. So it is not an in-demand service. I'm surprised because it kind of is in Grand Rapids. They have eyelash lounges everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure different demographic areas. Mm -hmm. But like, this is country. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're really country. A lot of the girls are doing, doing them themselves, you know. Learning how to do it themselves, but... You know, I would spend three hours on somebody just to practice and only charge them 50 bucks just to practice. And that wasn't even enough for my material. And then they'd be like, two days later, half of them are out. I'm like, oh, I am not going to deal with this in the real salon, having someone complain that they're gone. And then when you redo it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big mistake, but whatever. In the right area, I'm sure it's more popular, but not around here. I wore them too for about three years. They ruined my eyelashes. I'm allergic to the glue. Oh, are you? Yeah, I let someone practice on me once, and I was like, get this off of me now. Yeah. I can't picture some of myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, I look ridiculous. These eyelashes, I thought they were so pretty, but they're not. They look hideous. Yeah. And I didn't even go for a drama. I just wanted filling, you know, just to have them filled in a little bit. Right. And then I look at myself, every picture, I look like my eyes are closed. And then just like, you know. So did my daughter, I didn't tell me to do I always kind of told you that I didn't like them. I'm like, oh, yeah. There's just so many products out there for lashes. Everybody's trying to hide their wrinkles on their eyelids. They say bangs is the new Botox while fake eyelashes are up there for your eyelids. Aging. No, it's not. What year did you get your cosmetology license? Um, 89. Okay. How about you? Um, 94. Yeah. I went right out of high school. I went to college first. Yep. Accounting. No kidding. Yeah, business stuff. How old is your father-in-law? 82. Oh my goodness. He still has kids at home. Um, I have a senior. Yeah, I, I have, have a senior too. Oh, that wouldn't be for the at home. My um, oldest son moved out in September. Oh, uh, that's so hard, isn't it? Yeah, it I is. So what is a splinter hemorrhage? Have you seen a tiny black line in your nail plate? A splinter hemorrhage appears when a tiny blood vessel in your nail bed is injured. This can happen from stubbing your toe or when the nail bed has pressure from the nail moving inward, putting pressure on the vessels. So what makes the nail move inward? One, 
lack of oxygen to the matrix where the nail is produced. This can be caused from things like smoking or leaking valves in your legs or damage to the vessels in your legs from conditions like diabetes. Your toenails can tell you a lot and be an indication that there's something else going on with your health. So don't ignore them and seek medical attention to find out what else could be going on if you think there is a reason to. I know nobody can go anywhere, do anything. girlfriends that I'm meeting up with later on, um, they're going to have a lot of questions. They might be coming to see you too. <laughs> So you have to get it out from underneath so the nail actually has space to move. Okay. So we'll just dig in under there. Well, you don't want to be too aggressive, but yeah. Like, see how I can separate this layer? Yeah. That's got to soak in that again. wet stuff, right? Yeah. The beautiful remover. Yeah. Yep. Did you make it or? No. You just bought it, yeah. Yeah. But all of our kits have it in it. So whenever anybody gets a pedicure kit. So did you graduate in 88? I did. What year did you graduate? 87. Yep. We're probably the same age though. Because mm -hmm. I was young. Or old for my grade. Um, I'm 52. Me too. Yeah. And I'll be 53 in August. Me too. August 10th. The 20th. <laughs> I'm 10 days older than you. I should have known you were a Leo. From the hair. I am a Leo, yes. <laughs> yep, so is my daughter. It's funny. She's end of July, but she's still a Leo. J-Lo's still older than us. <laughs> by two weeks. What? And Jennifer Aniston by six months. Her birthday's in February. I know I'm always looking like, how am I aging? You know, compared to, to other people your age. I know. I told my boys, I'm like, Jennifer Lopez is older than me. They're like, no, she's not. I'm like, yes, yeah, she is. She has, you know, plastic surgery. And whatever yeah. else. I mean, she's a dancer. Obviously, she's fit. No, I don't, I don't really have time for that. Kardashians. Yeah.
I'll see the cover of a magazine and I'm like, wait a second, how did she get three children already? Oh yeah. <laughs> wait, how many years have passed? I'm like, no. I'm flies, so isn't it? The older I get, the more it's like, whoa, this year went by so quick. So you own this one? Mm-hmm. Nice, it's cute. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a lot of girls look for you? Um, I had more before it happened, yeah. but I think five quit. Yeah. Are they uh, back to it or are they doing it out of their home? Home. Yeah. What happened with our salon too? Five, exactly. So there's six of us left, plus our receptionist, seven in the salon. Maybe they'll come back after, I'm not so afraid. Although the girls that I've been Yeah, you can see how red that area is just from the pressure, you know, mm -hmm. squeezing you. Yeah, all of that skin, it'll relax and we want your nail wall, your groove to go back where it goes, where it belongs yes. and stop squeezing the front out of you. Right. Were these ones growing in on the sides too? Mm -hmm. or are they really? Yeah. Is there? Are you supposed to cut them straight? So people misinterpret yeah. what what straight and square mean. Right. So <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you cut it straight here mm -hmm. or rounded here. What they mean by square is square. Cut and cut. Do not cut at a diagonal this way. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because as soon as you remove that nail from the groove, it plumps up. Oh. The skin plumps up. And then when the nail starts to grow, it runs into the skin and then it gets sore. Yeah. I'm gonna thin this one out too because this one is kind of getting sure um, pumped up. Remember, not all yellow toenails are an indication of nail fungus. A few simple reasons toenails are yellow is a stain from nail polish. And if it comes off with some buffing and cuticle oil, there's nothing to worry about. Even cigarette smoke stain or smoke stain can be buffed off. And excess perspiration stain can also be buffed off. But there could be other issues like a vitamin E deficiency or issues with your liver, kidneys, or even diabetes. So... That's why a yearly physical with your doctor is so important to stay on top of your health. So don't put that off. Have you worked with the girls in your salon for a long time? Um, the girls that I've seen? No. There's actually um, two of them that I'm going to see this weekend. We worked at our very first hair salon together. Really? Yeah. But I think I only worked there for three years, and the other two quit before I did. The one girl, she's the, um, the funny one in the group. She loves traveling with us because we do her hair and her makeup. 
so fun. So I'm like, no, I'm on vacation. I'm not doing your hair. I'm doing my own. <laughs> hear me. Then I felt bad. So I mean, I can do her hair in two minutes. Right. Really? I did. I feel the more I slough, the more um, it comes back. Even worse. Well, if you do it too much, if you go too deep, then your body is like, oh, I need to protect myself. Sure. Yeah. My girlfriend keeps telling me to put Vaseline on and sleep with them, and I, I just cannot sleep with socks. I just Neither. can't do it. It's too hot. It's way too hot. Kelly, are you still in here? Well, he is down. The wrong boy. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you met the right boy. It's right. right here. Yes. About three hours. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, a little over three hours. Do you like it here? Yeah. yeah. Good schools for the kids when they were growing up. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, you can put that put back. I don't know. Everybody's going back to Frank and Luke tomorrow, but. My husband and I are staying in Saline, or not Saline, Saguenay. It's not even Saguenay, it's the name of the casino. I don't know what town it is, though. And then they're coming our way, and then we're going to Mayo, Michigan, my girlfriend. Jennifer's brother has a little cabin up there. So you guys are having a vacation, a real vacation. We, we kind of are. That's great. And we're bringing husbands this time, and we never bring our husbands, so it's going to be different. Oh, it'll be fun. There's six of us going, so there's 12. Well, there's only 12 of us. That'll be fun. But only four of us tonight, so that's nice. My husband has a circulation problem, so he's got that Menard in his hands and his feet. So that's why we're not oh. going back to... Um, Frank and move to go to the ice thing because he's like, I can't handle it. It'll be too cold, too yeah. Because it starts to get tingly and it feels like little pins. Mm hmm. So. Plus, he's like, Pamela, I want to Frank and move. I've been there a hundred times with you and I can't stand that place. <laughs> I love it. Have you yeah. ever been? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not that far from here, is it? No. People are so talented to be able oh to gosh, carve really something are. out of ice. Or sand. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. I totally respect the art. Same. And then I've been watching people do art on the back of the car with the dirt. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Like, wow, that is amazing. I was addicted to watching barbers for a long time on YouTube, carving pictures in the back of people's mm -hmm. heads mm -hmm. with clippers. Yep. I'm like, oh my gosh. Amazing. We had to do that for a hot minute. Do you remember that right after beauty school? They wanted the lightning bolts on the side. Mm -hmm. But that was easy. You just that was easy. Yep. Yeah. But then I had a couple kids that come in and wanted their, their numbers in their head. For their football jersey yeah, or something. Like, Please tell me you don't have an eight. Yeah, one of my it's clients beautiful. gave it to me. Beautiful. So how long have you had this one? 20 years. Oh, 20 years. That's mm -hmm. right. You did say that. 
Yep, we opened in 2002. I kind of became a salon owner out of necessity because I worked for such bad People. salon owners. Mm -hmm. I was There's like, a lot of what in here. the heck is going on yeah. here? So I was like, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with all of this crud. Yeah. I'm just going to do my own thing. Yeah, for sure. See, the, the people that we worked for at, when they first started doing hair, they had three salons and they lost them all. If they would have treated people normal and right, mm -hmm. they would have had, they would have been very successful. Mm -hmm. Oh, the stories that I we know. can tell. For real. So true. One of these days I probably will, but. Oh, I used to work at Hudson's years back. We actually, um, before I started working, they had a manager fired. They all went into a meeting and said, we're leaving. All of us are leaving if she's not leaving. And there was like 14 people. Wow. Like, we're walking out today unless you take care of her. Like, she was such a bad manager. Wow. I wasn't there for that. I heard the stories. But, and that wasn't even a store owned, you know what I mean? That was a franchise. It was Macy's. Or Marshall Fields or whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I did that for about seven years at that salon. Um, I like having a discount. Yeah. <laughs> the store discount at Hudson's. And that's kind of how waxing fell in my lap. So um, when you work for Macy's, you have to all be trained the same way. So I was the esthetician there. I did all the facials. Oh, wow. So I had to go to Detroit a lot and do, like, classes. Because, like, if you go to Chicago and you ask for a European facial, it's the same one you're going to get in Grand Rapids. So that was kind of hard, having to learn the exact same techniques that everybody else has to learn. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have kids yet, so it was fine. And then one day we went in there. I was with my boss, and she was like, well, we're going to do waxing today. And I'm like, okay, why are they in robes? I'm like, um they're getting their wig, legs waxed today. I'm like, oh, I've heard of people doing that. Oh, today we're going to do bikini waxes. I looked at my boss. I said, I'm out. I'm no way. And she's like, no, you have to do this. You have to do it. You got to try. And I'm like, okay. And I love it. Yeah. So, but at first I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to do that. Yeah. And you know what? It's my specialty. So, kind of funny how works out wow they feel so good <laughs> my toes they I can feel the pressure's gone I'm gonna sleep good tonight yeah okay tell me more about the product that I have to put on is it a medicine? So it's not, it's a, anything that's topical, it's not medicine. Okay. Yeah. They're more like homeopathic yeah. things yeah. because they have to follow all the OTC rules, the over-the-counter rules. True. They, you know, when people say, oh, you're not a doctor, you can't prescribe something. It's like, yeah, you're right because only doctors have a prescription pad. I'm not prescribing anything. It's over the counter. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Just like dander shampoo or you're right. um, skincare for pimples. It's, right. You're just recommending a product that works. But it has a, a humectant in it, so it actually attracts moisture from around, and it, so it moisturizes the skin and stays moist longer. Yeah. So your toenail is porous, so it's going to retain oh, good. the oils and moisturizers that are in the product. Yeah, my toes. And it's not going to just get sucked out by your sheets and your socks and, oh, you know, stuff yeah. like that. 
Yeah. So it allows the nail to stay softer longer so it actually does relax and flatten out. Oh, good. And it'll keep the skin surrounding it soft so mm -hmm. when it starts to grow up then the nail can actually move and it's not gonna run into anything and make another painful area. Okay. You're gonna apply it twice a day. And it's just one drop. I, I poured this in a bottle, but this is like, that's all you need. And it'll just soak around okay. and soak in. And just the big toes, not the other toes? Um, well, your second toe needs it because it's digging down into the sides and it's starting to squeeze in a little bit. Okay. But the other toes don't need it. One bottle will last you for about a year. Will it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because like, I can see dry skin all around my toes all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting, I'm like, oh, they're so dry. So, you know, I try to keep lotion. I Well, I do, I shouldn't say try, I do keep lotion. It just doesn't, right, doesn't work. Vaseline, I mean, Vicks Vapor Rub. I put everything on my toes. Mm -hmm. Toenails, to tea tree oil. And baby oil. Oil. <laughs> I'm trying to think about oil. Oh, yeah. Those dots on my legs are um, from a dermatologist. We had, I had some, uh, little, they're like little warts. They were burnt off. They're not warts, but had them on this side too. Mm. He told me they're from wearing flip flops. Really? The bacteria will flop back up on the on your yeah. Oh wow. And it didn't scar. I've been putting vitamin D on this side. They didn't burn anything, but I still have some on these sides. About two weeks ago, I think, is when they burnt those off. I thought they were moles. Yeah, they're ugly looking. They'll go away. They do, they go away. And they do leave a little bit of a scar though. It's better than having out those little bumps. You have carpal tunnel yet? Oh, I've had it like my whole career. Mm -hmm. It's awful, isn't it? I just massage my wrists every day and stretch mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Pop my Wrists, wow. yeah. I have um, tennis elbow right now. Yes, I do too. You this do? This one, the left one. You need to get that brace that goes right here. Yeah, I've had that. It really does help. It does. God, doesn't it hurt? Mine's been going on for, I bet you about six months now. Yeah. I think typing compounds it too. Yeah. Because it goes up the mm -hmm. side of your arm. I'm like cleaning. Like I said, OCD, I'm like always scrubbing something. So how long are you guys going to be in this area? Um, no. Mm -mm. We're just going to the casino tonight and then Mayo on Friday and we come home on Saturday. Oh, okay. have to take the in-laws to the airport on Monday. And so they want to celebrate the boys' February birthdays on Sunday, so we have to be back by Sunday. Uh -oh. So we're just going to leave my husband. Because he's not one to like to do all this. I actually had to talk him into this. So that'd be really interesting. But, um, Is he a workaholic? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. A roof holler, too. Much, very much a roof holler, but also, like, routine. Yeah. Big time. 
think he's, we always call him a robot because we, we know exactly where he's going to be at every time. Because he does it every single day. Right. Like I told my girlfriends, I'm like, he might be a bed by night. <laughs> I don't know. You know, he might want to stay up till midnight, but he might not, <laughs> he might not make it. So do you think that you'll be able to come back? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm not gonna put the acrylic band on it because I want the toenail to flatten out some before we hold it in place. Mm -hmm. And then when you come back, we'll put a thin layer of acrylic across the back to hold it at its widest point. So then as it grows up, okay, it'll stay wide. Okay. And it won't roll in. Okay. So six weeks is the latest that you said? Yeah, do six weeks. Okay. I mean, I got them as short as I could get them. Yeah. But just based on past experiences with clients with similar toenails, they probably won't hurt you again. I'm so excited that my daughter found you. <laughs> Me too. Tell her I said thank you. <laughs> yeah, I will tell her. And my girlfriend Jennifer, she actually did want to come in today. And they're like, well, to do a back to back appointment, that's impossible. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take the first available. Well, I don't know if she's taking any new appointments. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's because of my father in law. Yeah. My mom just broke her pelvis right, before, right after Thanksgiving. I'm like, I am not ready in my life to have to deal with this right now, but I've been with my mom and dad a lot too. So this is scar tissue, I think from when they removed that. Yes. Hopefully it will move a little bit for us. Okay. The before and after photos are coming right up. See how deep that oh, slit was yes. from digging in there? Yeah, it should never slide back up in there. You know how when we were kids, it was said you want to train your bangs, yeah. comb them in a certain area? Right. So you got to get rid of all of that skin around there, or the nail will just keep growing right in the same path, right in the same path, right in the same path. Okay. And so now that we've got all of that excess skin out from there, and you're going to be moisturizing it, it'll start to come up this way. Don't forget to leave me your question in the comment section and I'll see you next week.